This is a dragon. An actual dragon in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Brand new unit in the workshop. And he is going to be fighting the redstone unit from minecraft that we did in yesterday's video and you should check that out if you didn't see that video yet also what you should do is help get this video to two likes and if you can you're an amazing person and if you can't then you just fail at life and now we shall unleash the ultimate power of our dragon upon this redstone unit oh my god the dragon has lasers and the dragon fires missiles why would you do that you're a dragon you i did not expect the dragon to die that quickly the redstone unit from minecraft is exceptionally powerful this right here is a larva form of batra the kaiju and take a look at the amount of detail put into the design of this little worm the larva stage of Batra, and I wanted to know what it's gonna do, so I put it against a whole bunch of other animals. I mean, if it is a horse, oh, got lasers on its teeth, what's going on? Does that even seem fair? All the lions and tigers and bears, oh my, coming in on the larva. The giraffes are slamming their heads. The hippos have gotten underneath. The tiger is chewing on the feet of this larva as the lasers. It's body surfing all the animals. <laughs> They're just shoving this thing around. And the question is, can they deal damage? They've dealt a little bit of damage to the larva, but many of these animals have received a lot of punishment from our larva, who looks to be a dinosaur stepping on their heads very inappropriately. <laughs> Okay, this larva's fairly strong. I would love to see somebody design his full form in a future uh, workshop update. I think that would be fantastic. These are ghasts from Minecraft. If you guys have been to the nether, you know what a ghast is. And you know what a ghast should do. They should fire fireballs at our opponent. And the opponent for the ghasts is this thing. The crimson vortex from the last video whose body is splitting off into multiple pieces with blood coming out of it and everything's in segments and he's got lasers and claws and teeth and the crimson vortex is probably my favorite looking unit in the game how good are these gas oh oh the crimson vortex is shoving the gas back the gas are firing missiles or machine guns but they're not quite Good enough to defeat the Crimson Vortex. I absolutely underestimated you. I'm so sorry. This little guy's named Bumpy. And I thought he looked kind of cool. He's yellow. He's blue. Kind of reminds me of a squirrel on like spiky drugs. I just want to see this guy work. Here comes Bumpy. Little Bumpy bumping in the night going against some scorpions. And Bumpy just kind of ran past the scorpions. Goes for the tailspin to try and knock the scorpions back. Just yeeted that scorpion off the map. Are you kidding me, Bumpy? This scorpion is stuck to you, but the scorpions and their pincers were too much for cute little Bumpy to survive. This is called the war bat. Take a look at this thing. Whoever took the time to design this beast, I have to give props to. It's, it's beautiful. It's so elegant, it's so well designed, but um, this is like a blimp. And you're thinking to yourself, Crow, what, 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 what do you mean a blimp? Um, Cause there's the unit. There's the actual unit. And what's up there is like, is like a hot air balloon. And this unit's like dragging it along and they're gonna fight this Godzilla from the future. Here we go. Space Godzilla is laser. Oh, the missiles coming out of this unit. There's so many missiles. <laughs> so the little unit is carrying around the warpath. And the warpath, the warbat is just dropping missiles like crazy. It looks fantastic. What an elegant creation. And it seems that Godzilla fell off the map. This thing is fantastic. But I don't know how I feel about the little creature pulling on this giant thing. <laughs> this unit is called the Volcanic Biolens. Bro, it's like a giant nuclear kaiju. And it looks fantastic. It's got multiple claws and multiple heads here. And I thought a fitting opponent for him would be uh, 
the Kraken. It's like little baby Kraken, big daddy Kraken. Let's see how this fight goes. That's a laser. And neither of them want to move. Neither of them want to move at all. So um, maybe we should have units attack the uh, volcanic bio land. So instead, we're having 100 humans come and charge this thing. I want them to get in range of the claws. Yes, eat them. Eat the humans. Oh, it is fantastic. Now the humans are in beating on the volcanic bio lance who has a laser in his mouth and the claws are lashing out, eating these poor people, grasping their heads, preventing them from doing anything. Are they dealing enough damage? No, these humans are never, ever, ever gonna defeat this volcanic fire land so we just get to sit here and enjoy watching the limbs thrash around <laughs> and defeat all of these humans oh it's disgusting oh the horror <laughs> this unit's very cool continuing on the minecraft theme you've got creepers and the creepers oh 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 look at the boars do you see the dynamite? These creepers are gonna explode when they approach their enemy, which is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. There you go, the creepers explode. <laughs> they fly in every direction. Oh, there's a handful of creepers still alive, and they're fighting the T Rex, and the T Rexes are like, just, just get off the map. Bye, creeper. One tiny defenseless creeper just killed the T Rex. How much HP? Oh, those T-Rexes have way too much HP. This boar creeper is not going to have a good time against these tiny little T-Rexes over here. One of the T-Rexes has fallen over. Hold on. Are the creepers actually dealing a decent amount of damage to the Tyrannosaurus Rexes? Two of them have died out of nowhere. He just... He just killed over. What killed the T-Rex? This unit is called Monster X. And he looks... Phenomenal. Three heads on the top, lasers in the mouth, body armor galore. Monster X is going to be fighting mini Godzilla Arbs, who is our green laser beam spewing mini version of Godzilla. And sure enough, lasers. All the lasers. But the question is who's going to deal more damage? Who is going to survive? Maybe mini Godzilla Arbs can push Weapon X. Monster X off the map. No, we can explode Monster X. And mini Godzilla Arbs has a ton of HP left, even though he's currently nomming his own shoulder. Hey, you okay there? <laughs> this unit is called the King. And it is simply the largest unit I have ever seen in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. And it's going to fight Gojira. And I have a bad feeling about this. Hit the start button. Oh, it just it just decimated Gojira. Gojira didn't even stand a chance. Guys, we need to have a real opponent for this unit. Here we are on the largest map so that the king has some room to roam. Again, it's got the whole blimp thing going on being carried by this flying unit. But the opponent for the king is actually Boris. Do you guys remember Boris? From the last video, who seemingly defeated every other unit available. Can Boris defeat the king? Yes, Boris can defeat the king. Look at it splatter around and rain down bits of white. The king is no more. 